Today I'm going to drive a type of car that almost all of us have travelled in, but hardly any of us have ever owned. I'm talking about those black cabs. Around 21,000 of them circulate the London streets on a daily basis. And in the 70 years since they came to the capital, they haven't changed much. Until now, because now a revolution is taking place. It represents the biggest technological step forward in the industry since the car replaced the horse and cart. So why is a revolution needed? Well, because London has some of the highest levels of air pollution of any city anywhere in the world. Researchers concluded that 80% of this pollution is caused by traffic, of which 20% are black cabs. Up until this point, virtually all black cabs have been powered by something called a diesel engine, some of which were reliable, none of which were economical, and we now know, pretty polluting. So, in an effort to get polluting diesel cabs off the road, the London Electric Vehicle Company have come up with this. This is called the LEVCTX. Massively catchy name, isn't it? But that's not relevant. What is relevant is what's underneath here, because this is a completely electric black cab. And it's not before time, frankly. It is not before time. So what are the first impressions? Well, predictably, it's the silence. It's so quiet in here, you can pick up on all sorts of little noises. You can hear the electric power steering going, Woo! And obviously you can hear the compressor for the air conditioning, because I've got that on low, because it's the hottest day of the year today. But normally you hear that real clatter of diesel. The previous model, the TX4, was introduced in 1997, so it's now well over 20 years old. I've driven a TX4 for one day, and I had to have chiropractic treatment afterwards. It was appalling. This, by contrast, is quiet and comfortable and feels modern and cutting edge. This thing is a ground-up new car, built as a dedicated electric car. So lots of batteries in the floor. The construction is bonded aluminium, so it uses aerospace glue to put this car together. So it's lighter, it's more rigid. Inside, there's a real feel of quality and familiarity because a lot of the stuff I can see around me is from a Volvo. And it's derived from Volvo because Volvo is part of the same company that owns the London Electric Vehicle Company. It's so relaxing, I love it. But it doesn't matter what I think about the car. It's what cabbies think that matters. Between them, Alex, Tom and Ricky have clocked up over 35 years on London streets so it's fair to say they'll have the knowledge. What do you think? I think it looks amazing. The TX4s that we've been driving previously looked quite old-fashioned. Now, this looks like something that we could be really excited about. I, I like the fact they've kept with a bit of tradition, but, you know, people would look, look at that as it drives past, and I think it's got a bit of the wow factor. And I'm presuming this is where you would plug it in on the street, next to the headlights there? The... Yes, yeah, okay. there's a, that flap opens up and it yeah. gives you um, three different choices of plug. The cab has a basic range of 80 miles, but it can recharge to 80% capacity in just 25 minutes if it's hooked up to a fast charge outlet. So, first things first, six-seater, three here, three here, and there's a big space here for wheelchair access. Ramp comes out of here, and the sides are all built in. Down there is a three-pin plug for your laptop so I can rob power off you while I'm travelling in your vehicle. And then you've got two USB chargers. Um, so, yeah, come and have a sit in. Come and have a sit in. See what you think. It certainly, certainly feels bigger than, than my, my taxi. This Does is, it? Yeah, it is. It's far more comfortable. The height is something else as well. It just makes it feel more airy. But does the new cab retain the old one's famous turning circle? It keeps going and it keeps going. That's quite go good, yeah. It's a proper lock. In fact, the LEVC has exactly the same turning circle as the TX4 at 8.5 metres. How does it feel in terms of the comfort level? It's really smooth and really comfortable. It's much more quiet in here than it is in a normal TX. Yeah. Great for passengers, then. But these guys will have to make a living driving one of these things thousands and thousands of miles. Happily, under the bonnet is a 1500cc petrol range extender engine, which, unlike in a hybrid vehicle, doesn't drive the wheels, but acts like a generator topping up the batteries. This takes the potential range to over 300 miles and it gives you a number of options. 
I've got three choices. I've got Smart, Save and Pure EV. I'm in Smart and Smart basically chooses when I use battery and when the generator kicks in. Now, we're driving around town and I've still got lots of battery charge, so it's never going to let the generator kick in. In save mode, the guys could commute into London using the range extender engine to keep the batteries constantly topped up before switching to pure EV mode to drive pollution free in the city. You know, they reckon you'll save £100 a week. Depending on how clever you are with your journeys, you might not put any fuel in it for days and days at a time. This new cab seems to tick a lot of boxes. However, there is a downside because it costs £60,000. That's about 25 grand more than the old diesel model. That's the problem though. If there's a real drive for there not to be diesel cars anymore in central London, then there should be more support for cab drivers to be able to buy these vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. It seems it could be the answer but it's still a gamble. Yeah. It's a really big ask. Yeah. So, after a quick spin around London, will these three cabbies be investing in the new cab? Best bits are the safety and the comfort by a mile. This is probably the cab I will purchase. I think at this stage I will wait it out and just see how these taxis deal with the challenges that come their way on London streets. I think I'm going for an electric taxi. In fact, Alex has now placed his order, and you get the feeling the other 20,000 London cabbies won't be far behind. <laughs>